Hello there, it's Mr Dolling from Musica Kirkalees. And this little tutorial is for those younger players, uh, those of you doing whole class on tom or tuition, or maybe just started out on the French horn. Now, I'm going to be using my horn and F, and I'm going to use the F side. Uh, if you have no idea what that means, that just means it's the three valve instrument which you've got at home. So, we're going to do a quick piece of start and a warm up, and this is the note G, it uses no valves whatsoever. And you can see on your screen, we've got a mixture of crotchets and minims, one beat notes and two beat notes. Let me play it to you, and this is how it sounds. Press pause on the video and you have a go. Okay, hope that went well. Let's try it together. Are you ready? After four, one, two, three, four. Now remember, if your note didn't match mine, often we're not tight enough with our lips, so make sure you're playing nice and high, else we'll hit another note like an E or a C possibly, might we? Okay, let's go to the next piece straight away. This has got more crotchets and only two minims in this bit, so many one beat notes. It's still on the same note G, let's have a go at this one, see how you get on. Have a quick go, press pause, and then have a go yourself. Okay, hope that went well. Just make sure you're set up properly or you're stuck properly, keep everything straight. Your posture is really important. Let's try it together after four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to add an extra note. This is a note F, lives in the space just underneath a G. Just again, make sure you don't loosen your lips too much as we'll get some other notes coming out, which we don't want to hear at this point. Okay, and to play an F on your um, F horns, we've got first valve, so just remember first and F, it's the same letter, isn't it? Okay, so this piece uses crotchets and semi breeze. Make sure you sustain the semi breeze all the way to the end of each bar. I'll play it first and then you have a go. Okay, pause the video, have a quick practice. Hope that went okay. If it's tricky, slow it down. Make sure you're pitching every single note. Let's try it together. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, well done. Our final piece still uses F's and G's. This time we've got some minims and crotchets. So you'll see the music on the screen. Let's give it a go. It starts on F after four. Let's both try it together at the same time this time. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good. Hopefully that went well for you. If it didn't, just go back, rewind the video, try again. Remember, play these as often as you possibly can. The more st uh, strength you can put in your lips and your embouchure, the better. And the more you do it and the more often you practice, the better horn player will be, you will be. So take a look at our um, YouTube channel. There'll be lots more lessons coming soon. And there's already quite a few things on there already. So keep practicing. Look after yourselves. Bye.